Hello and welcome to a short video on personal development here at Beacon Academy. My name is Miss Miller and I am the Head of Personal Development. Now, you might be sitting there wondering, I don't really know what personal development means. Well, you can see on the board behind me, you might be more familiar with the term PSHE. This might be something that you already study at your primary schools. We've kind of made that a little bit bigger here at Beacon. And essentially we're looking at how we can develop you as a person and build lifelong skills so that you can live a safe and happy life in the 21st century. Now, the way in which we offer this personal Personal development is not just through the classroom. We do have lessons that are available to our Key Stage 3 students. This will take place for one hour every two weeks. And when you get to older years, like year 10 and 11, this will be done slightly differently through fewer but slightly longer sessions. I'm here right now with two of my year 9 students. Do you want to just quickly introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Tilly. Hi, I'm Amelia. And they very kindly uh, said that they'll have a little chat with you guys and say a little bit about personal development. So girls, why do you think that is so important? Why do you think a school should have personal development? I think they should focus on it because you don't know what's going to happen and you need to be prepared for everything and make sure that you don't like do something wrong. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be prepared for every eventuality and everything you learn about is based on what could could happen in the real world. So with that in mind, girls, has there been any lessons that you've particularly enjoyed or that are memorable in personal development? I've really liked when we do CPR or um, more on the medical side of things. I quite like this stuff. Which one day you could save a life with, yeah. couldn't you? <laughs> Absolutely. Anything with you, Amelia? Uh, yeah, I quite like the practical lessons where we, like for example, we had our dummies that we were practicing CPR on. Um, and we also did a course on alcohol where we were put into groups and we had to produce like a play or uh, a presentation about the physical or mental effects of alcohol. Amazing, thank you both so much. We have a well-tailored tutor program. One of my favorite things about this is our Thinking of Others Thursdays. So in this, every single week, you get given something to, that's going on in the news and you are challenged to think about how you would feel if you were in that position. Alongside this, every single week, you will get your very own assembly. Through this, we have some very exciting speakers that you can hear from. We've had the police in, we've had fire cadets in, army cadets. Essentially, you get a chance to listen to a wide range of people that you might not normally get to speak to in day-to-day -day life. One of our key mottos here at Beacon is to make your mark, and that's to treat other people with manners, acceptance, respect, and kindness. This is prevalent throughout the school. We promote it through our tutor times, our assemblies, and our day-to-day -day lessons and social times. Now, one of your favorite things, I'm sure, about school is not just your lessons, but also the enrichment clubs that you can take part in. At Beacon, we know just how important that is to your personal development. So we have so many things ranging from horticulture, to sport, to crafts, to diversity club. There literally is whatever your interest is, we have it here at Beacon. And normally every September, you will have a chance to visit our club fair where you can speak to the staff who run this and sign your name up and make sure that you've got your spot to take part for the rest of the year. We love to reward our students when they do fantastic things, be that in lesson, or outside of lesson making their mark, manners, acceptance, respect and kindness around the school. Now we honour this through giving out credits. Now if you get enough credits by the end of the year, you might be invited to a very special celebration event. Alongside that, our students can be nominated for student of the fortnight. Now this is something when a student has gone above and beyond and a member of staff thinks that they deserve awarding for that. You can also nominate each other through your students' student of the fortnight. And and all of these nominations get given credits and celebrated through our student bulletin and our student newsletter. I also want to talk to you about opportunities here at Beacon. So many opportunities to get involved with leadership, be that from being an ambassador or a buddy in your early years from year seven through to about year eight. And then when you get to the top of the school, you could even apply to be a prefect or head student. Now this is a really great way to make sure that the student's voice is heard. Student voice is so important to us here at Beacon. Yes, as staff, we do know what we're doing, but it is so important that we hear from you too. To. This is your school and we want your voice to be heard. Here at Beacon Academy, we value the importance of well-being. 
It's something we've always held close to our hearts, but now more than ever, we know just how important it is that our young people stay both physically and mentally well. We have so many things in place to make sure that this can happen. From a well-tailored year seven tutor scheme that focuses on transition from primary to secondary school, through to our mental health first aiders who are available for every single student in our school, however they may be feeling. We also have some incredible spaces and resources, just like the one I'm sat in right now. Our well Wellbeing Room was founded in 2019. Sadly, it was only open for a few months before lockdown, but we cannot wait for this room to be up and running for its usual purposes. At the moment, we do run counselling services in this room, but when things are maybe a little bit more back to normal, students can come here at break or lunchtime should they feel they need a slightly quieter space to spend some time with their friends. Added to this, we have our tutor programme, and with that comes Wellness Wednesday. So every Wednesday during tutor time, we look into strategies, into activities that are there to make us reflect and think about well-being and how we can best support ourselves. Now we completely understand that talking to a teacher can sometimes seem a bit scary, particularly if you're going to talk about something as personal as your mental health. So we have trained up a team of students as well-being ambassadors. They can be recognised by the little blue badge on their blazers and they, as I said, are specifically trained to help you talk through how you're feeling and again point you towards a helpful adult who can support you. I hope just from the few things I've been able to go through with you now shows just how much we place well-being at the centre and forefront of our students' educational lives. Ultimately, we want our students to be able to stand shoulder to shoulder with other students on both a local, <laughs> national and global scale. Through our personal development programme, we believe we can achieve just that, so that our students can live safe and happy lives in the 21st century.